today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 10, verse 7. And for this cause I, I said that he is a wicked man, for he has sought to take away the things wherewith you have been entrusted, and he has also sought to destroy your gift. Right. This verse is obviously talking about Satan. Although Satan is not exactly a man. He is a spirit of destruction. And as a spirit of destruction, Satan can possess the minds and hearts of those who do not believe in Jesus Christ. Or he can possess their minds and hearts, the minds and hearts of those who are troubled. And he can entice them to turn away from God and Jesus Christ to stop them from believing. And he seeks to take away the eternal blessings that he himself lost due to his own stupid decisions. And he can entice people to do things that they might not normally do. And he can entice good Christian people to turn into something that they were not normally before. Throughout history, Satan has gotten to people, he's enticed people to be wicked. And he seeks to take away that which helps us grow. He, see, he seeks to take away our knowledge of the atonement by telling us that we have no worth. And he seeks to take away our gifts and our blessings by telling us that idleness is happiness and that we are of no value. But guess what? The atonement of Jesus Christ is created so that we can realize that we are of value. And throughout history, Satan has tried numerous times to frustrate the work of God. Even by causing prophets to make mistakes. Here's the thing, prophets are human first. They make mistakes, but they do repent. And they can still be prophets. Of course, they get reprimanded. They can still be prophets. And we shouldn't let Satan try to destroy our gifts. We shouldn't let him take away that which we hold most dear because as he tries to take it away, we should only cherish it more and do everything we can to hold it close. That we might be able to feel by the Spirit of the Lord and that our combat against the wicked of course, it's our choice whether or not we choose to see Satan, because he is a he is a spirit fallen from grace. He used to be one of the top angels in heaven. A jealousy and pride over Christ's plan being chosen over his own caused him to round up friends and rebel against Heavenly Father and hence the war in heaven resulted in him and a third group of the hosts of heaven being kicked out. Because Heavenly Father didn't want to kick them out. Satan got them. Uh, Satan got him and the, other, the others kicked out. Because our actions speak louder than our words. Words create dissension, but actions can change everything. So let us seek to embrace the gospel and let us seek to be like Christ and to remember our value through his atonement. That we might not 
and let Satan succeed in seeking to destroy us one piece of our soul at a time. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.